scientific calci has eight different modes of calculation. For example, computation mode, equation mode, vector mode, etc. To change from any one mode to other, we press mode and select from the eight modes that are available. Usually, we perform all the calculations in the computation mode. To select the unit of measurement of angle from radians and degrees, press shift mode and then press 3 for degree and 4 for radians. In order to store a number which is required many a times in calculations, we use store function. Here we are storing a number 69. Press shift, store and assign an alphabet which will act as variable from A to F that are mentioned in the cancel. Here we are using alphabet A. Hence the number is stored as A. Now in order to use this number in calculations, we just press recall and our alphabet A. Thus the number appears wherever is it is required. Similarly, you can also store answers as the alphabets whenever required. We can find the values of permutations and combinations very easily using scientific calci. Just press shift and multiplication sign so that an alphabet P appears on your calci. Now enters the, enter the power and the base that you want. Here we are calculating value of 5P2. So we type 5 and then 2 and just press equal to sign to get the answer required. Similarly, we can find the value of combinations by pressing shift and then division sign and pressing the equal to sign to get the value required. To convert from polar coordinates to rectangular coordinates, press shift and plus sign and enter the coordinates that you want separated by a comma. and press equal to sign to get the polar uh, rectangular coordinates that you want. Similarly, to change from rectangular coordinates to polar coordinates, press shift and minus sign and again enter the coordinates separated by the comma and press equal to sign to get the answer. There might be a function whose value has to be calculated at many points. For example, we take function x squared plus y squared. To enter variable x, we press alpha and then x and then square. Similarly, to enter y square, we press alpha, y and then y square. To find the value, press calc. Enter the points where you are required to find the value. Pressing equal to sign every time you do so and again press equal to sign to get the answer. In order to enter the matrix, first you need to change the mode, so press mode button. From here, select the mode. For example, here you have to press 6 in order to enter the matrix mode. Press 6. Yeah. Now select any matrix. For example, mat A, mat B, mat C. Here we are selecting mat A. Now, it is the time to enter the dimensions of matrix. Select any dimensions of matrix by pressing numbers from 1 to 6. Here we have selected 2 cross 2 matrix. Now enter numbers. Like 1 once you enter a number, press equal to sign so that the number is correctly entered into the matrix. Thus, you have created a matrix A and it gets automatically stored for your usage.
now now we are finding inverse of a matrix we have already entered a 3 cross 3 matrix it is time that we recall the 3 cross 3 matrix now in order to recall the matrix you press shift then press 4 and press data now you recall your mat A which is a 3 cross 3 matrix you already have entered this is your 3 cross 3 matrix now in order to find the inverse of this matrix enter matrix A by pressing shift 4 data and this is your matrix A now to find inverse press x raised to minus 1 sign and you have entered inverse command just press equal to sign to find the inverse of the entire matrix and escape the tedious procedure of finding the same now to calculate determinant of a matrix again press shift press 4 and determinant 7 now we recall our matrix A again by pressing shift 4 3 so that matrix A is entered and just press equal to sign to find the determinant of the entire matrix and here you are with the determinant now to find the transpose of matrix first we need to clear the screen now again press shift then 4 now the eighth option that is transpose again recall your matrix by pressing shift 4 enter matrix A and press equal to sign to get the transpose of the entire matrix at a time three matrices can be stored and worked upon in this calcium these three matrices are mat A, mat B and mat C. We have already entered mat A. Now we will enter mat B and mat C using the same procedure as we have used for entering mat A. To enter mat B, select matrix B by pressing 2. Now select dimensions of matrix. Now we have selected 3 cross 3 matrix B. Enter the numbers that you want as your elements by pressing equal to each time you type a number. We are also entering matrix C that, that will be our third matrix. Select mat C, enter the dimensions of matrix. Don't forget to press equal to sign. Now we will be recalling all the three matrices. First we will recall mat A by pressing shift 4 and mat A. Press multiplication sign. Now recall mat B by using the same procedure that is shift 4 mat b recall mat c by using the same procedure now just press equal to sign so all the matrices will be multiplied and you will arrive at the answer matrix Integrating and differentiating equations within limits becomes an easy task using Calci. Here, we will integrate an equation x square plus x within limit 0 to 1. To find the value of same, press the integral sign on the Calci. Now enter the function pressing alpha and x. Once you are done with the same, enter the limits that is from 0 to 1 and just press equal to sign to find the answer without any difficulty. Take derivative of function at a particular point. Let us consider the same function x square plus x and here the point is 2. Now press the uh, press shift and the integral sign which you used earlier. Now enter the equation x square plus x. Enter the point 
वेर यू फॉन्ट टू फाइंड द डेरेवेटिव एंड प्लस इक्वल टू साइन टू गेट योर आंसर using table in scientific calci includes finding the values of functions at particular points given we insert appropriate step size initial point and the last point to start with press mode and press 7 to change the mode to table mode enter the function that you want here we are taking a simple function x square to enter variable x press alpha x and then x square You can enter any variable x or y by pressing alpha and then selecting x or y. Press equal to sign to enter the function. Now, enter the starting value. Here we are starting from one, and then press equal to sign. Now enter the end point. Here we are selecting ten as our end point, and press equal to. Enter the step size you want. Here we are selecting one as our step size and press equal to. And here you are ready with the entire table that can be used in Romberg method, Simpson's one third rule, or anywhere required. After learning how to use scientific calci for solving linear, quadratic, and cubic equations, you will be grateful for the invention of the sink. To start off with. change the mode to equation mode by pressing mode and then select equation now select the type of equation that you want here we are taking a quadratic equation so select 3 now enter the coefficient of the equation the equation we are taking is 4x square minus 4x plus 4 every time you enter the coefficients press equal to sign once you are done doing so again press equal to sign to get the answer that you desire scientific calculator has many inbuilt constants which can be recalled directly in your engineering calculations now in order to enter these constants we first need to press shift 7 the screen will appear like this now press any numbers which are indicated over here uh, from 1 to 40 we have chosen 25 which is for k that is the boltzmann constant but on pressing 25 the boltzmann constant arrives on your screen with its exact value conversions can but be one of the most tedious thing which you can face in calculations but using scientific calci this becomes very easy conversions of many units have been given over here for using conversions directly in our calculations we press shift 8 enter whatever conversion you want that is from 1 to 40 here we are selecting number 20 that is converting from meters per second to kilometers per hour we have already selected number 20 and screen will appear like this now just enter whatever number you have to convert we are selecting 7 So now 7 meters per second has been automatically converted into kilometers per hour by pressing equal to sign. To get root of a particular function you need to perform many iterations using Newton Raphson formula which is very time consuming. Now we have hit upon a shortcut to perform them and save time. p are taking function x minus e raised to minus x f dash x would be 1 plus e raised to minus x now for our convenience we store initial value of x in answer here the initial value is 1 which is stored as answer now we type this value in form of the formula
with this equal to sign. In a jiffy, we get new iteration. And we have to go on continuing till we get the accuracy. Here is second method formula which is used to find the value of functions using iterations. The given below is the simplified form of secant formula. Similar to newton raphson method, we need to store the initial values that is x0 in B and x1 in C. Now replace x0 by B and x1 by C in the formula. Every time you enter B or C, you need to press alpha. Once you are done entering the entire equation, just press calc to enter the value of C and B. Here the value of C being entered is 1 and B is 0. Then just press equal to sign to get the value of x2 which you need to perform the next iteration. For next iteration, your C will be the value that you have got as the answer and B will be 1. Again press equal to sign to get the value of x3.